Once upon a time, in a small neighborhood, far, 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 too many fars away. Anyways, live the Jones family. Listen up. Stop squirming. Mr. and Mrs. Jones had 17 boys. That was way too many boys to join in the neighborhood games, so the boys decided to start a game of their own. Grandpa, why don't I have any brothers? Let's just say your parents thought it would be best for them to focus all their attention on raising you. Now the Jones brothers loved ice hockey so much, but could not afford the equipment. Grandpa, did you say the Jonas Brothers? I love the Jonas Brothers, especially Kevin. He's my favorite. Everybody loves Joe and Nick, but I love Kevin because Kevin's the cutest. Since they didn't have any equipment, they had to improvise. Just one time, I was in drama class, and my teacher said uh, that we had to improvise, and so I said, what is improvise? And she said, this is where you make something up. So I made up a little song that goes like this. I like candy and Mountain Dew. I like candy and Mountain Dew. I like candy and Mountain Dew. That's uh, not really what I was talking about with improvising, Jessica. But you, however, should never drink Mountain Dew and eat candy ever. All right, back to the story. So now the Jones brothers found brooms in the house and used them for hockey sticks. They called this new game Broom Ball. Broom Ball. Broom Ball? I don't play Broom Ball. Is there anything like soccer? Because this one time I played soccer and I was the goalie and somebody kicked the ball right in my face and my face swelled up like a giant balloon and everybody was scared of me and so I floated over them like I was in the Thanksgiving Day Parade and everyone was like, hey, don't fall on this giant parade balloon. Hey. Jessica, do you want to play broom ball or not? Yes, 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 yes. All right, if you want to learn how to play, you got to learn the rules. Oh, man, I hate rules. I hate them. You need rules. You're going to hurt yourself. I get hurt all the time, Grandpa. That's because you don't follow the rules, Jessica. You're a hyper hypo. Oh, man, what do they feed you? You know what? I'm just gonna put the movie in. Maybe you'll fall asleep. But here, watch this movie. This will teach you some rules about broom ball. Movie? I love movies! All right, Jessica, all you need to know right here are the broom ball rules. Pay attention! Put that pop down. The broom ball rules. You wouldn't lose your mind over a friendly game of Scrabble, would you? So why be a poor sport over broom ball? Tweet, tweet, you're out. Rule number one. No unsportsmanlike conduct, please. You wouldn't high stick your grandfather as he's reading a book, would you? No. So no high sticking in broom ball. Rule number two. No high sticking, please. Please keep it below the referee's knee. You wouldn't yell at your poor little innocent fragile grandmother as she's knitting you a sweater, would you? No. So please don't yell at our referees as they're refereeing your broom ball game. Tweet, tweet, you're out. Rule number three, no yelling at the refs. You wouldn't tackle a small child as he's joyfully trimming the Christmas tree. So please don't tackle anybody on the broom ball court. Tweet, tweet. You're out. Rule number four. No checking. 
You wouldn't kick dinner out of your mother's hands as she pulled it out of the oven, would you? So why would you kick the ball in broom ball? Tweet, tweet, you're out. Rule number five, no kicking the ball. 